Hello everyone, and welcome back to Throttle Unclean. And I think we'll get some Storm Fiends today, if we can afford it that is, because we don't exactly have a great economy right now. So our guys are gonna have to pay for themselves so we can get the good stuff. And Conrich is trying, because we got a bunch of siege things here to kill. So hopefully we'll get some money from this, or at the very least some food, because we're not exactly doing great on that either. So let's see if we can get some good stuff. Alright, so... Oh... I really don't like the look of this hill, because that's gonna make it real awkward for our Rattling Gunners to get good line of sights. Because it's kinda too far away for us to use as high ground and too close for us to ignore. So I guess we're just gonna set up back here and just uh, try to shoot as much as possible before they get to us. And I think this will be alright. We are fighting Siege, so they're gonna have way more shooting than us. So we are going to have to rush them as soon as they get in range, but this hill is gonna kind of going to give them high ground, which is... Uh, yeah, I really don't like that hill. But I think this is going to be alright, although this, this whole map is just really bumpy. I really don't... I'm really not getting along with this map right now. But I think that's going to be alright. Yeah, so it'll be group 4, why not? Make you group 5, and we'll pop you right behind, and you'll be group 4. It's gonna be alright. And then we'll just spread these guys around, like so. I'm very glad that they have shields. Whatever good that's gonna do them. Oh, and let's just move you a little bit. Like so. That's eh, gonna be fine. And I guess we have one more to spare. Um, Just... Put it there, I guess. Oh, right there. So you'll be group two. And uh, just spread these around as well. They're gonna be great. And... Uh, oh, right. We have the Warp Storm Scroll, so we can probably do some nasty stuff to the Care Fury. Chaos Furies. There's Curve Blarer. Words. They're so... <laughs> they're hard. Oh, you're supposed to be group two. So let's just put all of you in group 1, and um, I think we're just gonna pop you in the woods here. And we're just gonna flank around with you and just just eat their horrors from behind. It's gonna be great. And I did, yeah, I did put it over there. Good. So, let's go and uh, mess with their furies a little bit, see if we can get some good... Get some good uh, damage on them. And it looks like they're kind of attacking us, so that's nice. And yeah, pop it! And run away! See if we can lure them in. Does that slow them? Oh, it does! Sweet! Then we don't even have to... Have to be that careful while kiting, although... Well, I guess you're not in range yet, but you should really focus the... Forsaken when you can instead. So, start shooting there. Start shooting there. Oh! Keep running! <laughs> I forgot you for a sec, but you should be... Well, you're in range of mortars, which... That was real bad aim. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it's killing them very quickly. And you're not in range of that. Oh, let's just go and kill that first then. Alright, let's just hang back for a sec. We almost have another menace from below, so that's nice, but you're in range. Start sh shooting Forsaken. Ooh, that hurts a lot. All right, rush them. Rush them. Rush them, because they're just about in range for our stuff. Rush them. You should die really quickly. Pop some stuff on there. Ooh, that's a nice little blob. Um, can we get ourselves a just... Big flensing ruin there. That's gonna be nice. Let's get you in there as well. Oh, you need to get in there. And make sure y'all are shooting. So, you're all dead. Let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. And let's get you in there. Excellent. Holy crap, that. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff shooting us. Whew. All right. Get into the blue horrors. And let's... Pop that. There we go. So, they have kind of broken through in on that flank. Well, at least we got some hounds coming on in. 
And you can just go through if you can, please. Get on over there. Make sure they do not break through. And what do we need for Scourge? Just one more mana. Uh, murder that, you're fine. Um, you're taking a lot of damage. Let's pop some Skaven over there. You're fine. Yeah, you're all fine. Don't worry about it. Let's scorch them. And just have a good time. Oh, you really overcast that. Or miscast that. And let's just have some good times in... In the warp. No, Doom Flayer. That's what it's called. Not a warp flayer. Sounds like something completely different. Oh, and... Uh, can we just... Get a good angle on this? Yes! Run away! Oh, damn, that is so laggy! Uh, Blue Horrors are trying to get past. That is not working out for them. And yeah, we're, we're gonna lose our... Our uh, aberrations, but that's all right. I think we are having arm losses right there. <laughs> You're pretty dead. Oh, please don't kill your own guys. Shoot these guys instead. There we go. Yeah, so we definitely lost some aberrations, but that's fine. They had some really strong stuff, like. Uh, Forsaken and their horrors are just really strong. <laughs> that was <laughs> so unnecessary last shot. So we lost our aber aberrations, but honestly, that's perfectly fine. And I think 13 food is gonna put us in the like second bracket. So that's nice. We're gonna get rid of a lot of those things. Or at least lower a lot of those things. Could have been more, but oh well. And our Packmaster really needs to get some, or get his mount, because he is kind of terrible right now. Oh, I really want to sack that, but I don't think we have enough movement, so... I think we're just gonna loot and occupy. It's fine. We're gonna get plenty of money from that, too. And can we reach that? Oh, we can. Excellent. So, just get a little bit of replenishment. Don't care about the lost aberrations. Because, uh... We're about to get some good stuff here anyway. And I definitely think we can afford that though. Can we afford that? We're just gonna be inside of our... Of our budget, I think. But we really need this if we are to get the Storm Fiends. Uh, that is two turns. I guess if we get rid of that and then we do that then we have still have two turns worth of money <laughs> so we're all right uh, you definitely need a turn to recover and then we'll just go and take Car Katarina out so oh right we need to put uh, control here and I think we can actually stabilize this nice um, Oh, this doesn't lower... This doesn't lower our control. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess that's great. I thought it did, but... I guess we don't have to worry about that. But, we are gonna end the turn. So, we are getting real close to Altorf. And there is uh, a lot of stuff messing with them, but they seem to be doing really well, actually. And I don't think... No, we're not even going to get close enough to be able to get to the middle one by dumping this growth vat. And we're still <laughs> just within our budget. Excellent. So, let's go and take this. Oh, perfect victory, eh? Really? All right, well, let's give you some damage. And I suppose we are gonna have to fight our way through this. Let's spend a little bit of food because I do want a menace from below because I'm pretty sure this is actually in a garrison. 
Damn, this always loads so slowly. Yeah, alright. I think two menaces... I mean, we don't need it to win, but I think it's gonna help us just conserve our troops a lot, because we can just pop them down on their range stuff. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna have to fight this. Alright, so where do we want to attack? I think we want to just go in at as many places as possible, because they can't possibly barricade everything. And we just kind of need to get on top of things. So I think the main attack is going down in here. So we bring Throt and his, his magic boy together with one clan rat. Let's put everything, everything else over there for now so we can keep track of everything so grab some some rat ogres and the help it abomination that's gonna be a strike squad and we can just break off and go up here as well while we go through there i think i want the pack master right here he can summon rats that can go around wherever to, together with some of these oh wait Group 2. And uh, let's send in you as well. That's gonna be good. And I think Gorich is gonna attack from this angle with the Chieftain. And some, pack some clan rats. I think that's gonna work out. Um, you can be pretty much wherever because you can just pop up where they least suspect it. You'll go with that guy. And uh, you'll go with... Uh, Throat. There we go. So, you guys, get on in there. Get on top of them. Let's uh, get a summon there as well. You guys, just attack. And you guys, just attack. But first, pop these out and bring you with. Because you're going to be a surprise group here. And just go around and hit that. Perfect. Now we go in over there. Oh, get on top of the wolf hearts. Uh, yeah, just get on top of all of that. You are just rat ogres. You can give him a spin. Pop all of that. Give some buffs to you. And explode a little bit. There we go. You're fine. Oh, they're sending something up along there. Well, too bad. They're all gonna die. Oh, uh, back off. Or move out of that area of effect spell. Pop that. Let's give everything... Oh, wait. Give everything anti-large. Not that you need it. And heal the pit fighters. Um, what needs to stop shooting? I think we're pretty alright there. And yeah, we're pretty alright there. And we're pretty alright there as well. Yeah, let's just stop these guys up. That's gonna be fine. Oh, are you not moving? Why are you not moving? Well, we can pop some of those over there. You gotta heal, but you don't need it. Alright, all of you are dead. Excellent. Go after Serena. You can go after that. And yeah, you'll you'll hang out with Serena, and I can, I would be able to confidently say that these guys are dead, right? Yeah, let's just cap that point now. You're all right. So go and kill these guys, because you're very hurt. Let's uh, let's send you out there, and I think you're gonna need some help. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing those are just the summoned clan rats. Get you in there. Oh, and you're supposed to go and uh, kill Serena. I guess we have more wolves. <laughs> Get him, doggos! So, you're you're done there. But I think, <laughs> I think you can take Serena. We're just gonna nibble her to death. Lots of big and small rats. And uh, it's going down pretty quick. It's excellent. Pop you there. Make sure they don't shoot. Keep moving up. Uh, yeah, you're doing great. 
And I think we're on top of everything, really. Well, we got a snow leopard here, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. Who cares? Pop the shock color on you. You're not going anywhere. And I guess chrome domination, just to make you unbreakable. Let's get you on top of those. And let's get you on top of those and just pop your things. Because I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, there goes Katrina. Oh, <laughs> she did one last just explosion, but we're all right. Those were all summons. Oh, these guys need to die. They are way not dead enough. <laughs> uh, you should probably get out of there. You're a little bit too hurt. But yeah, that seems to be arm losses. Excellent. Should probably remold or something. How about you? Doesn't really matter though. Yeah, let's just speed this up. Because we're just nibbling on people while they are not breakable. I guess the word is unbreakable. There we go. Excellent. So that was pretty alright. I did lose a Night Runner, but honestly, <laughs> I don't think that matters. I don't think that we're gonna stick around for much longer anyway. And uh, oh, wait, 14 is pretty good. I don't think that puts us... No, that's just 35%. But it gets us close to the middle pack. So that's pretty good. That's really not gonna matter, I don't think. That's alright. So let's grab some replenishment, some much, much needed replenishment. There we go. And I guess, guess we got the Plague Monk Regiment of Renown. Neat. Don't think we'll use them in any particular army. And uh, we're doing a little bit rough on money, so let's just get a Skaven Slave. That'll be good at tar painting stuff. And I don't think we need to recruit anything here. We can just go and take that. Or not, I guess. And I guess part of that uh, auto resolve is because we're fighting Sarthoriel. And we've been at war with him for a while now, but we haven't actually gotten to fight him yet. So, yeah, he's gonna be a real good target for our rattling guns, though. When he comes flying on over, he's gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have a field day with him. I love it. Um, did they keep our... Hey, they did. They kept our formation. Let's uh, move it to somewhere <laughs> where we aren't sitting in the woods. But yeah, this is fine. Actually, let's move it a little bit more like that. Rotate it. And I guess put you up like that instead. So we don't have to sit you around there. But yeah, this is, this is all right. I can work with this. You are gonna go in there though. Brought one too much though. There we go. And we might want to put you in there because they don't have that much flanking stuff. But pop you over there in group three. Group two, group one, four, and one, two, <laughs> and five. There we go. You don't need to be that far forward, because... Oh, they do have some Furies. So you know what? We are gonna put you... Oh, actually, they have Sartorial. We should probably put it on... Wait, it affects them? What? If flying, why are they highlighting these guys? Okay, um, maybe I don't need to cast it at all on these guys. Because they're, they're attacking us anyway. They're a lot faster than us, though, so we might just need it to slow them down. But they are getting just in range of our... Oh, they're just going past us. Oh, move! Move! Don't... Okay, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> Holy crap, that hurts. Um, okay, slow them down. All of you, shoot. Pop that <laughs> and just enjoy the show. Oh shit, uh, get you out of the way though. <laughs> he is already really low. Oh, get out of there. Pop the heel. <laughs> oh. 
Ah, oh, that was wonderful. Oh, you didn't... Right, you don't have your, your rat summon yet. That's super annoying. But we can... We'll just go around. Yeah, well, that was great. I enjoy that thoroughly. Uh, just hang back a little bit. They're not quite in range. And we still have flankings happening. Let's get on top of you, though. And I think we need to go. 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 And... I don't have many minutes from below. I don't like that. You really need to get your mount and your summons. Did he not level last time? I guess he didn't. Um, let's shoot these guys. Oh, no. Get, get your charge in. And uh, let's get some lightning. There we go. Uh, get on top of that. Excellent. Oh, I should have saved that for you, but we can still just do a flensing rune. It's gonna do loads of damage. And that might actually be army losses. Or we have to kill this guy. Well, he shouldn't be a problem. Yes, everyone. Okay, first of all, <laughs> we need to stop shooting. I know we're Skaven and we don't really care about... Uh, friendly fire and all of that. That's kind of our thing. But let's try to minimize it just a little bit, maybe? <laughs> oh. Why did I just say? <laughs> Idiots. But we're alright. As long as the characters live, I'm happy. So, turns out uh, Sorthoria wasn't that big of a threat when you have a gun line of three rattling guns. I was... That was so fun. God, I love that. Um, we're gonna just try to stockpile food so we're so we're feeling good again. But our economy is getting better. This is stabilizing. Excellent. Um, we can start taxing that, I think. And suddenly, we're in the green. So I guess we can justify getting some storm fiends, maybe. Right? You're starting to be quite far away, but we can sweep up north, maybe. Or just someone buys it for you, I guess. But let's get some income from post-battle loot, because I want to get the fresh meat. Because uh, that casualty replenishment, or captured <laughs> casualties captured post-battle, is also going to be some money and food and stuff. So that's going to be very helpful. And right, we're just grabbing some of those. And you are one away from marking conduit, so let's grab magical reserves. I do like plague, but I think most of the most of the casts are just going to be pestilent birth and uh, vermintide, and probably pestilent breath, which we should probably put a point in. But we'll do that after our king conduit, I suppose. And how far away are you? Five more levels for that. That's fine. Uh, that's pretty good. Man, Throt is gonna be so broken in <laughs> just a couple of levels. You are two levels away. That's gonna be sweet. So let's get Miscast Chance and... Uh, I mean, Crack's Call is kind of fun. It is... Uh, it is a pretty devastating win, but it's... Uh, it's not that expensive. I guess it's more expensive in vanilla. Alright, well, let's give you some damage. And you can finally grab these. And I think we could have done that last turn. But I might have skipped over you. Whoops. Well, that's alright. Now we have his summons. And he's gonna be so much better. Oh, Forbidden, forbidden Rod. Um, I'm not sure I want you to have a Forbidden Rod, though. Because you're... We're gonna... You're gonna be in the thick of it when you get your Doom Wheel, so... I'm not sure Forbidden Rod is the way to go. Hmm. Well, we can give you a Spell Shield. Give you some defense at the very least. 
And which hero hasn't moved? It's you, isn't it? Yeah. Where is Thorgrim? No. Ungrim. I think it's down here-ish? Wait, where is... Here's the vampire, so Ungrim isn't, all, isn't until all the way down here. So let's run him down there. I want to undercity Ungrim stuff. It's going to be fine. And you're almost there. Good. Wait. What commandment? Oh. I guess you were in just a really small little self-sustained place. Well, let's get some control there. And yeah, we can't... <laughs> we really can't uh, do that yet. But we can grab ourselves some uh, order right there. And I guess you can go back and get the first uh, Storm Fiends then. Yeah, probably. Because I think this guy needs Storm Fiends more than Throt does. Because he is absolutely wrecking shop. I mean, he's still got a Skaven Slave Spear, but... I don't think that matters. And let's... Can we... Yeah, we can absolutely raid him. Excellent. <laughs> it's a wimpy amount of raiding. Oh, there's a crossing there as well. Okay. Did we ever stop? We did not stop taxing you. Okay, well, let's, let's sit there on zero, I guess. That's gonna be good. And you're gonna need an upgrade. And I really don't want to spend any more money right now. But we can't think about money now. We can get Storm Fiends. Oh, why are we... Why are we getting attrition here? Oh, because of all the siege corruption. Right. Well, we can take a turn off, uh, off, uh, off attrition, I guess. And then we'll just go and camp and then move normally to first circle. I think we'll reach, maybe. Probably. Because I think you can just... You can sustain our economy on your own, right? Probably. I'll trust that you can. And we are finally in range of Altorf. It just, just took like 20 turns. <laughs> and I'm gonna hit the right thing here. We're gonna establish a Warlock Laboratory. Not cause an earthquake. That would be a, a little bit of a waste. But... I mean, the extra research is kinda nice. But I'm not sure we need this. The experience per turn is kind of alright too, but... We're not using a lot of Warlock Engineers anyway. So I think I'd rather just get my 6k from this. It's gonna just bankroll our storm vermin. And how much money are you get? Really? What? No. Why are you tier 1? Do you know how far I walked to put a to put a damn undercity in your damn city and you're tier 1? <sighs> what the fuck? Well, this is going to be a lot then. It should be eventually. But I guess we'll just start with this and I will... We can always switch later. It'll be fine. And we're going to want this as well. It's going to cost us a little bit of money and food. But I just want to start spreading. So it'll be fine. But, oh, that is such a disappointment. So everything relies on you now. Go find Ungrim. And you, is, is it not faster to walk through here? Oh, because you can't just move past that river. Right. That makes sense. So he's dead. <laughs> and let's just go and sit there. We should... Yeah, we definitely reach that next turn. So we're going to get ourselves a Storm Fiend. Could just run on over there and wreck havoc here. I guess that makes sense. Because I think we're gonna go north and start fighting the orcs together with this guy afterwards. 
Yeah, let's actually just go there. We have a quest to do what? What do we need to do? <laughs> Race or sack? All right. Well, we still have uh, quite a bit of movement, so I think we can sack it just safely and then and then take it. It's decisive, so yeah. Sack it for very little money, and just pop back inside. We don't get the same amount of replenishment, but we get ourselves a quest. So that's a nice chunk of money. So that's all right. And then we just uh, wreck, wreck havoc through here. So, ooh. The great orthodoxy just grew a lot. That's all right. Let's continue on to Sanukia. There we go. And now we're starting to get a nice little chunk of money. Are you in Prague? You are. All right. So this is absolutely gonna rebel soon then. So that might be a problem. And Oslan is dead. Huh. All right. So let's go and sit in the first circle. And yeah, that's gonna help it stabilize real nice. So what do we have here? We got the Doomflare Gauntlets, we got Grinder Fists and Shock Gauntlets. Should we have... Uh, there it is. Warfire Projectors. And I guess we don't have... Uh, I don't. We, I guess we don't have a cap on that. I kind of expected it to share a cap with something, but... Hey, I'll take it. So, let's get... Yeah, let's just get two of these. <laughs> Well, we're gonna keep them uh, close to the front line. They're still really good at fighting. Like, if we compare these to the, let's say, Doomflare Gauntlets, they're obviously inferior when it comes to close combat. But they shoot warfire throw or warfire. So, <laughs> how can I how can I argue with that? I guess we can still get rid of one of these as well, and we'll go three. And we'll pop... Uh, do we want the shock contents? I think the shock contents are really cool because they get the anti-anti-large. But these guys are just so chunky. Because when they get into melee, they just... They get a shit ton of extra defense. So that is really good. I think we go one Doom Flare Gauntlets and two Warfires. We'll put these on the flanks. I will put this in, right in the center and just mow him on in. And we're not gonna have any more in this army for now. Because, uh, oh, I guess we overfilled the the thing. Excellent. Gives us a bunch of mutagen. I like it. And uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of them. But uh, I'm gonna try to like not get too many of them. Because uh, they are going to be a little bit overpowered if we just doom stack them. But I feel 3 is pretty reasonable since uh, we have the tier 4 things. They are in different buildings and we're about to get these as well. So I think this is fine. Because I kind of want to I kind of want to get them as if we have a cap. And I think 3 with a mix assortment of them is reasonable. Right, I guess, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? Is that too many? I don't think it is. I think they're fun, so I want to get a couple of them. But I don't, I don't know if people think that's overpowered. Because I don't want to make things too easy. Because that's no fun. But I think that's alright. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna want to be friends with basically all the Skaven we can get, because that's how we gotta use our trade. Oh, uh, give me more. Yes. Thank you. And, oh, Reichland is just spreading out. Well, this is done at the very least, and we are healthily in the green, so that is sweet. Finish that. So now our rat ogres are jacked. 
I like it. I would like to buff these guys a little bit. That's also pretty nice. Yeah, that's mostly just the, the weird things. So, I like that. Unfathomable Horrors. Uh, get some speed and stuff. I mean, I'm not sure if we need to get all the way in there. I guess the upkeep doesn't... That's barely anything, and it's mostly things that we don't have a lot of. But the bonus against for wolf rats is really nice, because that affects our summons. At least it should. So let's go there. And what do we need here? The arsenal. Okay, well, we're gonna want that too. Because there's a lot of stuff they can buff. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. Sweet. And, uh, right. How long would it take for you to get the Bubonicus Riders? Pretty, pretty long. So, I think we're gonna have to get ourselves just a reinforcing army for you that can recruit and then just uh, run down to you. Oh, are we capped? Oh, we're pretty much. So, we can start, like, pumping most things that we get here. Oh, Pyrrhic Victory, huh? Huh. Alright, we might want to fight that in that case. Uh, we're also gonna wanna just use all of our growth juice. So, let's give you speed and physical resistance. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, ooh, actually. Contaminated, I kinda like that. That's... Face name? <laughs> Uh, that's gonna lower leadership and melee attack at the very least. That's pretty nice. So pop that. I mean, you barely have any armor, but I'm not sure that's worth. I kind of like that, though. <laughs> but I think that's better with the uh, armies that's got a couple of, uh, like, warp fire throwers or something like that. Silly instability. Is that the explosion? Yes. But that's not the suicide thing, is it? No. It definitely is, right? Like, it kills you. Doesn't it? Pretty sure it kills you. <laughs> no, wait. That's in the infantry. I think. Isn't it? How do I explode things? <laughs> I know there is something here that... Because I know I've had exploding Skaven slaves. I was pretty sure it was one of these top ones. I guess it's not... It's not early, is it? No. Okay, whatever. We could do some of the lab too. Uh, that just last for a couple of turns, I think. You can buy some mutagen. Harvest organs. But I kind of want to do the thing that gives us... Uh, well, that for one is pretty good. We're capped on food. So I like that. Oh, that's the one that gives me... That gives me food per thing. Yeah, right. That's fine. So, let's go and fight this, I suppose. Although, I guess we can auto-resolve this, because we do have really good replenishment. And we can pop this to tier, to tier 2. No problem. Morse Guitar's Hellion is sweet. But we're gonna conserve a little bit of money, but I think this is gonna go away for Mor Morse Guitar's Hellion. Or maybe even the Slinger. Is it your bell, or... Or is this just... No, wait. This was gonna just stabilize itself. This is what I'm expecting to rebel. And it is definitely gonna rebel in, like, two turns. So that's fine. So, let's just pass the turn, and... Uh, 
Oh, did you? Yes. Repair that, I suppose. Get some control to stop taxing. And next turn, we'll have our storm vermin. Storm fiends. Damn it, I always I keep calling them storm vermin. Oh, hello. Why? How are we a strategic threat? <laughs> what? Oh, that is bullshit. All right. Well, okay. Ah, oh, idiot rats. But you keep moving. And I don't care because we have our storm fiends. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited to try these guys out. So I think we're just gonna go west, start fighting green skins, just to get ourselves a sweet ass fight here. So yeah, just, just run over there. Oh, I'm so excited. Guess we're gonna grab this for these guys, but we don't have the money for that yet, so it's gonna have to wait. But we can probably start building these at the very least. And, uh, yeah, we're healthy again. We got such a good replenishment. So, let's pop on over there. And we can keep working through this. And I think we're gonna tear that down to get some defenses instead. Probably. Yeah. So, just upgrade that, I suppose. And we should really get this. But we got a thing to get. We can get 13th scheme. We can, get, we can do this again in six turns. So yeah, pop that. It's gonna lower our upkeep a little bit. Did it? I feel like it didn't. But either way, it's gonna lower our upkeep a little bit. And in six turns we can go and just do that again. But I think we're going to end this episode here. So next episode, we're going to take a spin with our new Storm Fiends. And uh, it looks like we're going to end Katarin. So that's going to be fun. And probably start fighting some orcs just for the fun of it. And uh, Aerograd is probably a good thing to get. And I think we're going to get to just use their special port if we wanted to. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna go up and sweep through this, and then we'll go into Kostaltin and mess with him. And then we might just go into the Empire. Because you could probably go and deal with all of this. We'll go south through that. Oh, and they have more stuff here. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Crap. Oh, that's all right. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that. But yeah, we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.